Hey there YouTube, Travis here. It's finally time. Well, maybe not, we'll see. something okay it is running put that warm up there oh wow I don't believe it this is awesome I am very very stoked about this let me see if I can get that idle tuned a little bit it sounds like an air leak oh yeah how stereotypical right Okay, cool, that was pretty fun. I didn't want to take it too far though until I nailed down that air leak, but uh, that won't be a big deal. Now I'll go ahead and take it inside and we'll talk about what's been done to it thus far. Oh man, that was awesome. So I'm glad this turned out to be a runner and I didn't have to do any really extensive work to the engine. Uh, seems like that's pretty solid, but uh, only time will tell of course. Where I did have to do a lot of work on this thing was the rear wheel. Man, that thing was messed up. So as you can see down there, it's got a uh, new rear axle. Um, these ones, can't remember off the top of my head, it's like a 10 or 11 millimeter, um, but it's not a 12. So it's not as thick as the spoke wheels. And for whatever reason, this axle was really bent. I ended up having to cut it off. All the nuts on it were stripped out. Everything was rusted and awful. So got a new axle back there, fresh grease for the bearings. Brand new tire, um, and I feel pretty confident about that. Still nowhere near done yet. Uh, I really think that to get the performance gains out of it, probably where it should be, should probably be around 25. It's probably only doing about 21, 22 miles an hour right now. Um, I'll put a picture of the... Uh, piston and rings there. The rings looked pretty shot, but the piston only had some light, light scratches on the back. So I'm thinking that with a hone and some new rings combined with also, here let me get a little bit more light here, also going into that carburetor. Um, this one had a 70 jet in it stock, which is way too big. Combine that with the other internals, um, the way they would limit the speed on these bikes, in addition to you know, cylinder porting and whatnot, um, they would inherently rich in the carb. So, on one hand, I'm probably going to find stuff in there like the 212A atomizer and the rich needle, and we'll see what playing with some parts there does. And yes, I still need to do the tank, but uh, that's going to come later today. So, yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy about this, especially because it's the nicer model Pinto, the Pinto 2, so it's got 
the mag wheels and all the fun little fixings. Okay, YouTube, until next time.